Hi guys, welcome back to Couponing with the Lady. Just got back from my Saturday night early activation haul at CVS for the week of 226. Um, did a really big haul tonight. Ended up with over $180 worth of products. I paid $32 out of pocket for all of it so not a really bad deal I did make a um, couple of little uh, glitchy mistakes no big deal but that's why it wasn't under $30 which is what I was shooting for I knew it was going to be a little bit more of a cost but let's get straight into it I'm going to do it just a little bit different because I ended up doing it in different transactions and rolling my ECBs this week. So this is a good week to learn how to roll ECBs. And hi boo boo, there's the boo boo bunny. Come to say hi to everybody, yes. <laughs> Little ham. So the first thing um, I did was the Schick deal. Hold on this, hold on. Let me tell everybody what we did. And they are spend $20 and get 10 ECBs back. So I got technical issues here. Sorry. I got two of the Chic Quattro uh, disposable razors. And the breakdown looks like this. You buy two of the razors, use two of the $4 off Schick disposable razor pack from the Smart Source 212. You would pay $11.98 and you would get back 10 ECBs. So the second thing I got was this got to be um, smooth operator. It's a um, conditioner, leave-in hair conditioner. I couldn't think of the words. They are $4.99 and you get back $2 in extra bucks reward when you buy them. And there is a $2 off one got to be printable coupon that I used. So that made it $2.99 and I got back the $2 in ECBs. Boo, you're not helping. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Uh, the next thing I did was the spin brushes. They are $5.99 and you get a $3 extra buck back. Uh, when you buy one, they are a limit of two. That's why you see I bought two of them there. And it worked like this. You use $3 off of two Arm & Hammer Spin Brush. Uh, that was a printable coupon at the ArmAndHammer.com site. I paid $8.98 and got back six ECBs. The next thing I did, boo, stop. Y'all may or may not get to see the groceries or the products. I did this Lubri Lubrigen Lotion um box and this was not in the sales ad this has been a monthly deal that's been going on this month and uh it's normally seven dollars and 99 cents but they're on sale for two dollars and 99 cents and if you go to their site uh, online you can print out if it's still available. I'm not sure if it's still available, but you could print out a um, $5 off coupon. So there's actually overage if your CVS allows you to have it. That's why I put it together um, with this deal. So my total for that first transaction was $21.94. I used 13 ECBs, which brought it down to $8.94 plus tax, and then I got back 18 ECBs. That was my first transaction. And I'll show you right quick. This was the receipt. 
And there's the coupons. And there's what I paid and what I saved. Okay, so we went on to transaction number two. And transaction number two started out with the Pantene and the Charmin. It was this big deal where if you spend $25, you get seven extra bucks back. The Pantene are three for 12. That was my first mistake um, because I looked at this and I saw three for seven and I didn't even pay attention to the fact that they were already taking off the coupon. So they actually were three for 12, but that was okay. <clears throat> and the Charmin were $9.99 each. And I did get the two bags of Charmin. They're the big bags. The 16 equals 32. So 16 rolls. And then I did get the three Pantene. And this is on two different pages, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So it worked out to be $32. I used the $5 off of three from the P&G. I used a dollar off of one Charmin printable. I used two of those. And then I had a $2 off 11 Redbox coupon. Um, together, that brought it down to $23 and I got back seven ECBs. Now the next thing I did was the Tresemme. This was the second uh, little glitch that um, I had. In the ad, it says here, two for $8 on select stylers. See that at the bottom? So those were the, the hairsprays were the cheapest stylers that I could find. But they actually rang up two for 10. It, it's okay, it worked out all right many ways. It's just that I was expecting them to be two for eight, not two for ten. And I did do the two for ten on the expert, which is under C, two for ten. So, uh, that worked out like this. I used the buy one get one free expert tresemme out of the 226 red plum and I used two of the two dollar off tresemme styling products out of the 226 red plum also. So you pay ten fifty one and you get back five dollars so that's you know pretty close to a dollar a piece that really wasn't a bad deal I didn't think and that was my second transaction. That was everything in the second transaction. So here's this receipt. And it went down. There's the Sherman. There go all the coupons. And there goes the extra bucks, the 18 extra bucks that I used. I had a $2 off toilet paper. I ended up paying $16.77 out of pocket and I saved $55.02 on that one. I did get back the 12 ECBs. So then I started my third transaction. I know this is a little confusing and I'm sorry I don't ever do it this way but man was I rolling the ECBs tonight. On the third transaction I started with the Irish Spring. They are two for eight dollars and you get a three dollar extra buck back. I did buy the two Irish Springs and it works out like this. There's two, I used two one dollar off one printables but there's also one dollar off one coupons in the 21217 smart sources um, if you have them and you pay six dollars and you get back three and I also got the Garnier A. That's this one. They are two for seven dollars. If you buy two, you get back two extra bucks. Now these are the ones that Boo Boo has been chewing on. Oh, grow strong. And this one. So I did buy two of those. 
and that looks like this on the paper that's a really good deal they're two for seven I use two of the two dollar off Garnier um, from the red plum 212 pay three dollars and get back two so they're only 50 cents each and then the last thing on that transaction I say that's the last yes the last thing on that transaction is going to be the Fabrice they are spend ten and get three dollars in extra bucks back so what I did for that one and you can see them there there's four of them I actually bought four different ones they are three dollars and ninety nine cents each I used two of the buy one get one free Febreze products that's in the P&G from 226 I used a dollar and fifty cent off one air freshener that I got out of the red box I paid seven dollars and eighty eight cents and I got back three dollars in extra bucks so all together that totaled out to be four dollars and eighty eight cents plus tax and I got back eight ECBs so let me show you that receipt right quick it's getting a little long I'm trying to hurry there it goes so y'all can slow it down if you want to and there go my coupons paid five dollars and twenty eight cents saved thirty dollars and fifty four cents so then the last thing I did and the only reason that I did these was because I had printable coupons my PNG was one of those PNGs that did not get the coupons you have to print them off but I did have um, one gain flings printable left and I did have two of the Tide pod printables left that you see back there and the deal is they're $4.94 and then you use the $2 manufacturer making it $2.94 there were no ECBs with this and like I said if my coupons had not been expiring I probably would not have done that deal but I thought eh okay so I took my $8 in ECBs from my third transaction and I just applied it to that I used the three two dollars off coupons and I ended up paying 89 cents out of pocket and saving nineteen dollars and fifteen cents so all together I got over it's like a hundred and eighty four dollars and some odd cents in change I did get um, I did pay $32 out of pocket um, I did not bring home any ECBs however I will trigger I only have $12 left to trigger um, a $5 ECB for beauty bucks and uh, with all this beauty stuff that I bought this time around I should trigger another five dollars so by next week hopefully I'll have ten dollars in ECBs back I also um, had bought another one of my swag bucks gift cards and used it there's a bonus program going on this month um, where you can get an extra hundred swag bucks if you buy the um, $25 swag buck gift card so I took advantage of that and I'll be able to get a free gift card by next week to use with my uh, ECBs and that'll help out quite a bit okay that's going to do it for this video <laughs> thank you for watching and your savings tip this week is simple sweet and easy it's use your swag bucks while there are bonus swag bucks available and getting those gift cards right now when you can get an extra hundred on top of the 75 that's the best time to do it okay oh and the nail did come off but it didn't come off until this morning I popped it on 
the remote control of all things and broke it the rest of the way off so the tea bag savings tip although I did have to replace it a couple of times this week it did help me hold that nail over till it grew out enough okay guys have a great 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 week and save lots of money and try to keep your products from boo-boo <laughs> we'll see you next time bye bye